through that ridiculousness with me. Um, I thought I would decorate for Christmas and we didn't get a Christmas tree this year. Uh, last year I got like a little live like pine thingy. Oh, here comes Janie. Um, but yeah, so the last thing I want to hang up are these little ornaments that my mom, my mom got for us. This one says Jane and this one says Murphy. Hi Jane, come on, good girl. She's gonna help me put these little decorations up. Murphy's sitting behind the camera with my iPad. He won't be joining us, I don't think. Come on, Bubba. Um, yeah. I feel kind of guilty doing this to my ficus Audrey, but she is the closest thing that we had to a tree in the apartment. Um, besides, I guess, my bird of paradise, but I don't think that would have worked too well, so. Hey, Janie, this is yours. Look it. Look it. Look at it. Look at it. What do you think? Do you like it? She doesn't care. Okay. I might have to like tie that up to the other piece of the tree here. Cause that's not fun. Oh, and um, Parezo Verde, it's a leaf. I couldn't figure out if it was a flower coming in or a leaf and it is officially a leaf. Two leaves, actually. I think that one's going to be coming in soon, too. Very exciting. Okay. Lie to me and tell me it's cute. Okay, guys? I love you. Ah, uh, I don't know. Just, it's just whatever. We're going with it. I just wanted to show you what a dreary ass day it is outside, but still kind of pretty, you know, whatever. Rain. All right, y'all, we are revisiting the trauma today. This little brat is not doing any better on the moss pole. So we are going to give the moss pole to someone who might appreciate it today. Um, I don't know who that is yet. First order of business is just unpotting this guy and putting her back in a plain old pot. I'm just taking off the tape now. Um, so, you know, I've, I've always kind of been a little bit on the more, more or less broke ass bitch side and so I've never really gone in for like celebrating Christmas super a lot or stuff like that. Um, and this year I'm actually like kind of doing okay finally. <laughs> it's kind of cool. And yeah, like, I mean, I'm not rich or anything and I still have a lot of bills to pay especially after Jane needed all that mouth surgery fucking almost three grand worth of dental work but her breath doesn't stink anymore so that is a huge bonus um, and she's not nearly so much as a turd yes I'm looking at you um, in the camera over there ah uh, yeah she's I think she's just she's just in general been feeling a lot better um, so completely worth it but you know just another thing to add um, but yeah so I just wanted to do the little Christmassy like you know these little Christmas 
things were like three dollars from Target. These were like five dollars and whatever. Like I spent a negligible amount of money on these Christmas decorations and they make me happy. So just remember, even when you're feeling broke as fuck, do things that make you happy. Uh, I don't know what to say about this guy. Feels a little pathetic. I might, we might give up on her soon. I don't know. I thought they didn't like humidity, but she's lost like every freaking leaf. I, I like seriously, crisps up and <sighs> I can see why I found her in the trash area. She is a evil little brat. Um, yeah. Well, that's done at least. We are no longer wasting a moss pole on her. Uh, next order of business. Don't worry, we will revisit the moss pole. Uh, but the next order of business is we are going to propagate this little guy here because <laughs> that leaf was literally hanging on by a tiny little thread. Um, and I'm honestly just going to plop it right in here um let me, maybe I'll make a little room uh so it can be a little bit more surrounded um but yeah it really doesn't take much you can propagate these uh African violets in water you can propagate them in soil I mean I don't think I've ever done soil I usually do water propagations um, I'm gonna obviously be doing it in uh, sphagnum moss today. Uh, and this one will do a full stem cutting as well, but you don't need to. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm actually really interested to see how these guys turn out because when I propagate them in water, um, they usually start from like directly at the bottom, but I don't want that. I'm hoping that like, I don't know. I'm just hoping for an easier transition from this to new plant than last time. Cause I just, I just actually threw away some of my more recent propagations of African violet. Um, and Normally I would put these in my prop box, but it's kind of full for one. And for another reason, I don't think these really need humidity. So maybe I'll just put them above my desk where they get lots of light. That's where I usually propagate these guys. Um, yeah, so that's those done. Oh. Let's see, I guess this can go. Well, maybe we'll put that next to its propagations because there's not really room for it over here where it usually lives now. I think the little Hoya with the things is cute. Okay, speaking of Hoya, I'm really, I'm really done with this. Honestly, it doesn't bring me any joy and I know that it would bring someone else joy. So I think, I think maybe I'm gonna go grab some more uh, I'm gonna go grab some more moss cups and we're gonna chop the hell out of this baby I got my cups I got some moss let's chop um, I'm gonna bring you guys in a little closer so you can actually see okie dokie so I am just going to start chopping, I guess. Let's, yeah, that's got two leaves. One, 
Um, okay. And we're just going to do multi-leaf cuttings. That way, whoever's buying them knows their stem in there. Because I feel like people always hem and haw about how you're selling, like, dead or, like, basically cuttings that aren't viable. That's what I'm going for. Um... I guess, I don't know. Maybe this one will just leave attached to the roots. that those roots are pathetic. Wow. This has been in this pot for like a year and none of them have very good root systems. <sighs> Except, okay, I will accept you as tribute, Pupicalyx. This was my dream Hoya for a while, which is kind of funny because it's the one that's done the best. Maybe I should keep that one for myself. Because, like, I don't hate all Hoyas. I'm just not... I'm just not that into them, you know? Let's see. And then... Wow! That's it, you guys. Like, what the heck? Like, I'm, I'm sure there's some dead roots in here somewhere, but. Oh, man. That's insane. What the heck, you guys? Like. How are these root systems so dang small? That's it. It's so little. And no wonder it didn't grow any. I mean, they're good roots, I guess. Nothing's pulling off. All right. Well, I guess that's that. Sorry if dirty hands freak you out. I kind of enjoy it. I know what Harley G was talking about when, you know, she's she was pregnant a couple of times in the last few years because she got two little cute boys. And she's always talking about how she missed the feeling of soil on her hands. And I'm just like, girl, yes, I feel you. Because every time I repot stuff, I always feel just a little better about life in general. And if I remember correctly, research has shown that there's a reason for that. I will put the information on the screen somewhere over here because I don't remember exactly what the research was. I don't, like I wanna chop this guy up, but it's so tall. I don't know what to do with it exactly. It's got a really woody base stem here. But she, like, none of my Hoyas have been growing. No wonder I don't like them very much. I don't know what to do with you. You were gonna chop. There is plenty of space between nodes on this guy, which is really nice. Um, and don't ask me what these are called. I have basically no idea at this point. I'm just going to kind of clean off 
soil a little bit. Not like crazy much because I don't think it'll affect it if it's in moss. But. So this one I've been told is DS70 or Bilobata. Um, now I'm hearing it's being called uh, Species F. Bertonia. I don't know. If you know, let me know. I'm about to have way too many Hoyas in my home. Why did I do this? I hope people will buy them. If you're interested in anything I'm chopping up today, I do have an Etsy. I'm on Facebook Marketplace. Links are down in the description, always. Also, if you just want to support my channel, you can buy me a coffee. That link is down in the description. Um, what else? You could let's see. You know what? No. Yeah, see, some of these just don't have any intranodal spacing. I'm just gonna chop off this bit. It looks kind of deadish. How else could you? I used to have a Patreon. I think I shut it down. Um. But yeah, if you have any desire to support the growth of this channel. Oh, you could always buy some pet food from me or treats or some last minute Christmas puppy gifts. They have cat toys and dog toys and products with CBD in them. I hope that if you're watching this channel, you would like to support the continuance of it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about any of those things as well. We are, I don't know what to do with this guy. He's still really like, this one kind of appeals to me. I like the, how the Hoyas kind of do like the star shape thing. Kind of like my Crimson Princess that's behind me. You know what? No, I'm gonna keep this one because I like this one. Um, we are just going to put it in a, pot that will support its livelihood. And we are going to pot it down further. Okay. I'm like over here trying not to make too big of a mess. Cause guess who has to clean it up? Me! Nobody likes to clean up messes. Uh, does anyone pay for a house cleaner? Just a question. I'm interested in maybe hiring someone to come in like once a month or something because the ADHD factor just, oh man, it kills me. I really wish that my executive function functioned a little better. That's really cute. Okay, I like that by itself. That's gonna make me happy, I can tell. Um, maybe I should add this guy in there. Yeah, we're gonna add this guy real quick. Since it is the same, and since we're keeping some Hoya Poop Calyx, we might as well keep more of it. Okay, there. Kinda cute, I kinda like it. Um, and we don't have anywhere to put this. Ah! Okay, okay. They're going way over there. Okay, there we go. And that leaves this. I think this is just the regular Hoya Carnosa. Let me know if you know. It's kind of crazy looking though. Um... I'm just gonna decide to chop it up there because I don't think those roots were doing anything anyway, honestly. 
So obviously I'm not doing a, my Hoya, why my Hoyas look better than yours anytime soon? Because clearly mine were okay, but they weren't doing anything. And that whole first year they sleep, second year they creep, third year they leap thing that Nick Pileggi is always on about. Yeah, that wasn't happening for us either. Probably because I was not very consistent with the watering on these guys. I don't know. I think Hoyas are just not my thing. They are kind of in that category of succulents as far as my, my watering goes. But who should we put on a pole? Maybe... You know what? I know who we'll put on the pole. These babies. They've got some roots. This one even has a new leaf coming in right there. Uh, nobody else has a new, oh, no, I lied. This guy has a new leaf as well. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and chop off this unnecessary piece here. Because fuck that. That way you can see the leaf a little better. That's cute. Okay. Um, oh, he really doesn't have any roots. It's been in water, but. Eh, I think plants propagate faster in soil anyways. Okay. Let's get our situated. gonna bury anybody too deeply because obviously I want her to focus on growing into the moss pole instead of the soil. Perfect. Just put a little bit more. We should be good, honestly. We don't want to bury any of the new leaves coming in. Um, I'm just really just going to put enough soil that the plant feels secure. Uh, let's see. Okay. I think she's cute enough. What do you think? I think that's going to be grand. Um, I wish that I had more like insight into like encouraging the plant to grow up the pole. I know that you need to keep the moss wet. Um, I think Jan from Sydney Plant Guy actually just only waters the moss pole and not the um, soil at a certain point. I think that's really interesting. I don't know if that would work. I mean, it, I guess it must do. Uh, and Monstera Ed and Sonia are so easy to grow. Okay, I'm just going to put that in the spot. I'm just putting that, oops. I'm knocking things over. Okay, just putting that in the spot where the uh, Sissus discolor was when it was on the pole. So far, so good. Let's see, what else can we do? Okay, you guys, can we just talk about my Cebu Blue right now? Like. Not a plant I'm super duper into, 
but it's not doing badly. Like, look at all that new growth, finally. Um, the only thing that's not doing anything is this big leaf over here. And I'm very curious. Curious indeed, but I'm just going to put a little extra soil over him and not do anything else because this plant is doing fine. I'm really only putting that soil in to hold this leaf in place because he's so wobbly the way I planted it. Okay. And this has been watered quite recently, plus the soil I'm adding is damp. So there's that. Ooh, chat about this guy. She's lost some leaves over on this section here. That's fine. She seems to dry out pretty quickly though, which is kind of annoying. Actually, the point of my showing you this was look at all this lusciousness popping out from the base. She's making pups, I guess, at this point. That's what this, that's for sure what this little guy is right here. That's a pup. You can see it's not even like near where the base is. Let's, let's get in there. Just gonna dump off this soil on the top you know what I'm not gonna repot her maybe I will oh she's got some good roots down here dumping soil everywhere because she's a little dry but ah! okay Definitely dumping soil everywhere. Shoops. Why are you so dry? Okay, y'all. My plants are so weird. Like... This plant is super duper happy. It's got a little bit of yucky roots, but whatever, that's happening all the time. Too plenty of plants. But overall, she's got fairly healthy roots down here. Um, and most of her roots look like this with roots coming off of other roots like here. Um, and this little guy, like I was telling you, it's a pup. You can tell that because it's coming off the main stem, but it does, it has its own roots. Right here, those are coming off of that. So I am actually just going to pop it off. Oh, it's got even more roots than I thought it did. That's exciting. Look how cute it is. Um, also, can we just, can we just give some love, some root porn love? two aeroid roots. Aglaonema have some beautiful ass aeroid roots. Wow. And look at those pinky colors, they're so pretty. Okay, she's gonna go in her own pot. You know what, I'm honestly at the point where I like the look of this part better than I like the look of this part, because it's kind of wonky and that's all well and good, but I think it would be better if I chopped this stem into multiple pieces. So that's what we're going to do. Um, it's technically the mother plant. Um, but yeah, I feel like this looks really cute and more compact and maybe it'll push even more growth in various places. I guess we're just gonna go right back into the original pot, the original soil, cause there's nothing wrong with this soil. Eh, you know what? No, we're not going back in the original pot because I'm tired. I am sick and tired of terracotta. It dries out my plants way too fast. And then I have to like be hover mom. Sorry. 
and hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna try that again. Just kind of push it all the way down in there so it's not above the line of the pot. Because this, this pot is a little bit taller than this pot, but they're the same diameter. Um, slap and tap, like Pete versus Plants always says. Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling good about this. Now, the question is, do we put this back in here or do we put it in its own planter? It's got a bunch of roots coming out along the side here. I'm almost tempted to just completely chop her up and give each one of those roots its chance to be its own plant. Yeah, maybe just that. And there. Yeah, we're doing one leaf cuttings. Whoops. They're just so cute though. Okay, and this guy I'm gonna just put in as a chunk. Okay, good. What else can we talk about? Um, I guess I can ask a question. Do you guys prefer the chatty or the chill plant chores videos? Um, leave me a comment down below and let me know that guy. That is definitely an answer I am looking for. Um, and if you've made it this far into the video, you leave, like, and you don't want to comment on chatty versus chill, leave a little green heart in the comments so that YouTube knows people are paying attention. Um, because comments are better than likes. No idea. I'm just gonna tuck that little guy into bed right there. I like you, I do. I really like that new Post Malone song. It's really fun. I like you. It's Doja Cat and Post Malone, of course. Um. Flew over to France and woke up in Japan. I like you. I do. Although I think it's kind of about like a guy who's trying to steal a girl from his girl. His, his. A guy who's trying to steal his friend from her boyfriend. Which is shady. It's just a, it's just a fun song though. I like it. And it's literally called a happier song. Like, Who doesn't love that? Okay, and this little guy is going to go in this pot here. <laughs> like, waxing lyrical about these roots, but it's so hard to get them into a pot without breaking them and without having the plant look all wonky. But that's okay. So, who else is excited for the holidays? My family always celebrates Christmas Eve, both my mom's side and my dad's side, which is kind of annoying because do you know who doesn't get Christmas Eve off? Me. I only ever get Christmas Day, which is totally fine, and I guess I could request Christmas Eve off, but come on, how many restaurants want to give up a server on Christmas Eve? Not very many. So cute. so cute. What other plant chores can we do? 
You know what? I want to see what's going on in here. It, dry, it seems to dry out really fast, but I don't know. Maybe not. I just, I kind of feel like it's in too big of a pot right now. That's, I don't know if that's any smaller. This pot's a little less ratchet looking though. Like, look at all that paint cr crumbling off. Although I actually, I kind of prefer the terracotta look these days and regret painting all my pots white. Um, in the dressing your truth system that I follow, I kind of figured out why I didn't like the white pots as much as I thought I did, would, as much as I thought I would. Um, I'm a type three and type threes don't wear white. Uh, if you want to know more about dressing your truth, you can just type in dressingyourtruth.com or search Carol Tuttle. Uh, let's let's just dig in here. I want to see. This plant was a little rescue that I got for cheaper, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, we are. We are not doing good on the roots with my succulent-like plants today. That's got basically nothing. And it's probably because every time I go out of town, stuff gets underwatered. is disappointing though. We are just gonna in here with even less soil than it had before. <sighs> Tell me, do you guys prefer longer form content or less longer form content? Do you prefer when I have music in my videos or not? Tell me all the things that you feel. I don't know if that's any better. Uh, so this guy, we recently, <laughs> I chopped off camera because I can't help myself. Um, I was hoping we would see a little bit more root growth by now, but with the ease that it just came out of this pot, not too surprising that there isn't much growth, but it's gonna be cute once it kind of pops off over here. See how these guys are doing. Give me a little Christmas box guy. How many roots do we have? So many roots. Oh my gosh. Woohoo! Look at that. That's exciting. Now, that is pretty good for a one leaf cutting. I don't see any activation of nodes though so that's a little worrisome these are all my uh oh there we got some action um i kind of want to chop that bit off because it's such a long piece of useless stem 
but we're not going to. Basically nothing there. And by basically nothing, I mean like it's a pothos, so it's not gonna not grow. Oh no, you have rotted leaf. No, so sad. Like, that's really gross. It looks like a fucking slug. Ugh. Ah, that's a bummer. Oh well. Got a root here. This was probably a mistake to pull these out because now I'm going to struggle to get them back in, aren't I? We have a root and a leaf coming in there. My glasses are falling off my face. Absolutely nothing there. That's really sad. Oh well. And then a big old chunker. And a little guy right there. That is going to be a leaf right here. If I don't break it, that is. I said I like you. I do. Oof. Okay. Okay. We're gonna chop up my Brantianum because I hate her. No, I'm kidding. I don't hate her, but she's just not the cutest plant ever. Like, really, bro? have anything going on root wise either what is with my plants I mean I guess that it could be worse but... anyhow like I said we are chopping her up today And we are not going to be princessy about it. I'm just going for it. Ooh, she got the green smell. I love philodendrons and how they smell so good when you chop them. Um, let's see. We are also going to chop off this bottom bit here. It doesn't have anything going on. It's just yellow and ugly. Anyway, maybe there will be room in the plant, in the pot, actually. I'm really tempted to separate because this has its own roots up here. See, it's got some roots coming out up here. <gasps> should we make a moss pole? What do you think? Should we, should we do it? It's so pathetic looking. Okay. No. We're not going to moss pull this baby. I don't even like the plant well enough for that. right back in her original pot with the cuttings. Because fuck this hoe. Just kidding. But seriously. Why do we like the Brandy Annum? She has given me zero reason to like her. With her Cinderella stepsister feet. Oh, fuck's sake. Really just break. Oh, it did. Fun. Okay. I'm just gonna flop that in there because it does actually have a note on it. The top cut here. Oh, 
hopefully something in here will take off and we'll have a better looking plant. I don't know if that's possible with her. She just kind of ugly, but we're going to give her the benefit of the doubt and just let her try. Don't disappoint me, girl. Okay. Well. Good enough. All right, you guys, I think that's all I have energy left for today because I still have to go work, which means conserve that energy, though. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching me chop up all my plants, and I hope you come back for this video right here. YouTube thinks you'll like it, um, and I do too. Cheers. Okay, before I forget, allocation forms. Interesting. All right, so this thing grew roots, but it's all brown and weird looking. So just want to kind of peel that back. Okay, she's still got plenty of green. She's not looking too mad. So my alocasia copria could make a comeback. I'm not too sure about this guy. Hasn't really put out any root growth. Um, but also not dead. So I think that this was way too large of a pot for those two guys to be in, even together. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna do sphagnum moss and we're gonna pull this little splinter out of my finger. going to give them each their best chance. Uh, comment down below if you know what TV show that is from. There we go. There's one and two. This is the one that had more roots. Uh, they are the same color as this bag of moss, so you can't really see what's going on. But that's okay. Hopefully they'll be happier in here than they were in here because I feel like this was just like a little ridiculous. It's so big. I mean, they did have leaves when they came into me, but... Hopefully this helps. And I love you all. Goodbye.